Danny Provenzano has made a new movie about the mob. If his name rings a bell, it's because his great uncle was Tony Pro Provenzano, a mobster often tied to the disappearance and presumed murder of Teamsters boss Jimmy Hoffa. New Jersey prosecutors say the apple didn't fall far from the avuncular tree. Danny's under indictment as he sits here for allegedly running his own crew. He claims it's a frame, but he's literally lifted language from the actual indictment against him for racketeering, extortion, and kidnapping, and used it as material for his film. The movie is called This Thing of Ours, which is the rough English translation of La Cosa Nostra, and stars some of the usual suspects, James Caan, Corleone from The Godfather fame, Vincent Pastore, the late big pussy of Sopranos fame. I heard a crack here. What? I'm going to tell you why I said no. Now, this guy's been with us for 40 years. 40 years now. He's out of line, there's no doubt. But to clip him over this, that's ridiculous. Jimmy, he disrespected Danny in his own house. We followed the rules. We brought him in on this thing. And what does he do? Danny, I don't mean no disrespect. You know that, okay? And I do realize he's doubled up. But what's right is right. This thing of ours isn't in general release yet, but it's drawn acclaim at film festivals. Meanwhile, the co-writer, producer, director, and star goes on trial soon. Danny Provenzano plans to act as his own attorney. We've given him a chance to defend himself right now. Danny, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You know what they say about somebody who represents himself. Yeah, yeah. As what a do they say? Client. As a fool right, for a right. client. Right. So um, you're charged with all kinds of things, like essentially beating up and threatening to kill a guy who owed you money. Right. Essentially, that's what the charges say. And you, you of course, say you didn't do it. No, no, no. This is, uh, no. I mean, we have the classic situation where I'm being charged with extortion. And the, the I think the classic def definition for extortion, what most people might think, is someone who goes to the candy store and says, I want a thousand a week for nothing. You know, in, in my opinion, that's called extortion. So would you would you cop to aggressive debt collection? I, I will not cop to any physical harm. I will not, not cop to any physical abuse. But will I honestly come here and say that somebody owed me $140,000 and I wanted my money back? Yeah, of course I'm going to say that. Okay? But I didn't use any of these methods that the states claims that I used to collect this money. You know, that's absolutely not true. Um, but sure, I mean, you know, I ran a very big company. I had 30 employees I had to be responsible for. Um, I had a lot of mouths to feed. And when, when, when d creditors and debtors would come up with these situations where they refused to pay, especially when I knew they had the ability to pay, you know, it was upsetting. You know, it, it was very upsetting. And, uh, you, you know, Maybe I didn't go the practical route that most people would do by phoning an attorney. I tried to reason with these people and say, hey, you know, pay me. You know, I did the work for you. Why don't you want to pay me? And, and the crux of it is now these people, five years later, are going to get on a witness stand, testify against me, but they still owe me 140, who owes me 110, who owes me 108. But some of your own people are testifying against you, too. Well, yeah, of course they're testifying against me. One of the guys testifying against me was doing a 15-year prison sentence for road rage, unrelated to anything that I had anything to do with. He's sitting in jail for 15 years. The prosecutor came to him after serving three to testify against Provenzano, and you're going to go home. Okay, but you're looking at a downside of, what, 40 years? Yeah, 40 years. So w isn't that worth spending a few bucks on a lawyer? I'm spending a lot of money on lawyers. Just because I'm defending myself doesn't mean I don't have lawyers. I have I have a full assortment of lawyers they're at my coach, disposal. They're, co they're coaching you? They're coaching me. I have private investigators on my team. I'm spending an awful lot of money on this defense. And since the collar, the indictment, and the upcoming trial, you go out to Hollywood and get money and make a movie and cast people like Jimmy Conn? Right, right. You, right. you compartmentalize very well. Yes, yes. It seemed like the thing to do, I guess. I mean, I'd, you know. be, I'd be laying in bed staring at the ceiling saying, I'm like, you know. You know, pe people say that to me. There was a time in my life where I was looking at a 44, I'm still looking at a 44 count racketeering indictment, but there was a time in my life where I was looking at this 44 count racketeering indictment. It was fresh. I had every one of my ex-partners suing me and you know I used to get up every morning and go out my day and not let it bother me I used to just fight 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 and you know do whatever it is I needed to do to succeed well that could be you know, 